From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Bill Cullen. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome back to the Joker's Well. Wow. Well, we are at the third day of the current week and we've had some nice winning going on. And we had introduced two marvelous people who hadn't had a chance to play much of a game. So, because that's what it's all about, why don't we introduce them right now, Charlie? Bill, first hour challenger, she's a student advisor whose interests include dancing and traveling, Katie O'Brien. And our current champion, he recently moved from New York City to California. His winnings total in cash, $500, Dave Statman. There they are, ready to pick up where we left off. Dave's our champion with $500 so far. Welcome back, Dave. Thank you. Dave would like to be a stand-up comic. He's uh, not long out of high school. Am I right there, Dave? Uh, well, I just finished high school. I'm in my second year of college. Second year of college, and, and Dave wants to get started. So you folks uh, out there who own fancy nightclubs or things like that, take a look at Dave. You might want to audition him. How's that, Dave? Pretty good? <laughs> Thank you. OK. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I had some more lines, but I'm not going to use them, Dave. And we didn't get a chance to learn too much about Katie, except, of course, she's a student advisor. And again, tell everybody exactly what, what kind of advice, you, what you do for the well, students. Well, basically what I do is organize cultural and career activities for our students, just to make sure they see all the options that are available to them after they get out of school. That's very interesting. And as I said before, they didn't have that when I went to no. high school. But they, they would say, look, you're not doing so well in algebra. You better get with it or I'll knock you on the head. <laughs> But uh, they didn't tell us about what to do to, when we got out of school, except not to come back, as I recall. Anyway, Katie, we welcome you here. We welcome Dave here. And if both of you are ready, I will give you an opportunity to look at the categories. And then I'll touch briefly on the natural triple jackpot. Categories are the presidents, old TV, unlikely pairs, all about languages, and finally, fact or photo. Uh, there you answer a question by uh, hearing a fact or seeing a photo. Natural triple jackpot, I promised you I'd mention. Uh, it was won just the other day. It was won by our champion, uh, who has since left, and it was worth 13,000 some hundred bucks, and that was a lovely win. We started a new one, we add something to it every day. We have golf clubs and grills and watches and things like that. It's now worth, either of you get three categories the same, $2,000, okay? So, Katie, you're the challenger, you get first spin. Let's see what you can do. Okay, all right, jokers. Katie spins away and gets old TV, Joker, and all about languages. Oh, wow. Um, how about old TV for 100? All right, old TV for 100. On the old TV series titled It Takes a Thief, this handsome actor portrayed Alexander Mundy, a convicted cat burglar who was recruited by the government to be a spy. For $100, Katie, this actor is Robert who? Wagner. Sure is Robert Wagner. You have a All right, Dave. Okay, let's see some jokers. Dave calls and he gets unlikely pairs. All about language. You got a three-way split. What do you want? I'll take factor photo for 50. All right, factor photo for 50. This is a visual or could be a visual. The answer, Dave, to this factor photo question is the name of a famous American family. Now, my question to you is, in order to answer it, would you like to hear the facts or see the photo? I'd like to see the photo. Okay, most people do when we, this is interesting, it's a new category. There's the photo, take a very good look at it. Now, this famous plaza in New York City is named for a prominent American family. For $50, Dave, what's this family's last name? Rockefeller. Sure, that's Rockefeller Center. <laughs> As an added bit of interest, that statue is Prometheus, undressed. We'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, we have a word for you. So, Katie, you have 100. Dave has 50. Spin away, Katie. Let's okay, see what you come do. come on, jokers. There's a joker. There's another one. Wow. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. It looks, like, it looks like the president's for 200. Yeah, and uh, the lady works for the school people, so she ought to be good on presidents. So. $200, that's what you're going for. Uh, judge, uh, hear me out on this one and follow me because there are two pronunciations of this word. I, if I don't do it right first time, check me out on it. Katie, you ready to go? Yep. His family home was called the Hermitage. His nickname was Old Hickory, 
and he was the military hero of the Battle of New Orleans. For $200, what was his last name? Taft. No. Dave, you get a shot at it. Family home, the Hermitage, nickname Old Hickory, military hero of the Battle of New Orleans. What was his last name? You get the 200. Grant? No. Andrew Jackson. Oh. Old Hickory. Okay, oh, Dave, you have a spin with $50. You can catch up here. Let's see some jokers. Unlikely pairs in Joker and Joker. Mm. Yeah. I'll take unlikely pairs for 200. Okay, now it's your shot at 200. Let's see what you do with it, Dave. A singer named Kate might have been an unlikely running mate for a presidential politician named Alfred. For $200, what's the last name they shared? I... Jackson? No, that was the last question. <laughs> <laughs> but you were close, uh, question-wise. Katie. Singer named Kate might have been an unlikely running mate for a presidential politician named Alfred. For $200, what's the last name they shared? Smith. You got it, Alfred yeah. E. Smith. <laughs> well, now, okay. see how funny it worked? You lost the 200 on your own, but you picked it up well, on Dave's, great. and now you're spinning, Katie. Okay, come on, Jokers. Katie has a good lead here. President's Joker, all about languages. I really don't like either of those. Uh... <laughs> How about the presidents again for 100? All right. Get that out here. In 1972, this American president improved relations with communist China by relaxing trade restrictions and by making an historic visit to Peking. For $100 more, what was this president's last name? Nixon. Richard Nixon, you have uh, 100 bucks. Hey, Dave. You're in a hole, Dave, 400 to 50. You better do some good spinning. Got to see some jokers. Let's see what Dave gets. He got joker. Joker! Oh. When, I said, when I said you have to do some good spinning, I meant it. I didn't know you were going to spin that well, Dave. You know what it is. That's an automatic win. What you have to do to complete the automatic win part of it Choose any category you want. Pick, I will take a question, first one up in that category. Answer it correctly, and you're champion again, and you have a thousand bucks. I'll take fact or photo for the fact win. Fact or photo. Okay, the answer for the game now, Dave, and a thousand dollars. The answer to this fact or photo question is the name of an historical figure. Do you want to hear the fact or see the photo? I'd like to see the photo. Okay. Funny, I think that's always been chosen. Okay, can you see the, see the photo? I'm out of your way. Look at the picture and tell me. This is a portrait of one of England's most famous monarchs. If you can name him, you retain the championship and your winnings total one thousand dollars. Who was he? Henry the Eighth. You're still champion. You got the money. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Dave. Thank you. You've been calling for jokers ever since you got here the other day, and finally, when you really needed them, they really came up. Whew. Well, Katie O'Brien, I'm awfully, I love your name, by the way. I'm awfully sorry to see you go. You played well. We have some nice consolation prizes. Thank you from all Thank of us you. at Jokers Live. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Well, our, our friend David Stateman, who, if this keeps up, will no longer... Is, it's Statman, isn't it? Yeah. David, I'm sorry, David. David Statman, who, if this keeps up, will no longer need to be a stand-up comedian. He'll be a rich club owner. We'll be over there in a moment to go against the devil, but right now we have this for you. And now, Bill Cullen. All right, Charlie. David Statman has $1,000 in his two wins. Well, come on over, David. Another shot against the devil. I will remind these people uh, who might not have seen uh, what happened last time. In his enthusiasm, David, as he pulled the handle, yelled, come on, jokers. And of course, there are no jokers up there. And I guess the, jo the devil got a little angry and he came up on your very first spin, very first panel, huh? Yeah. It's not gonna happen again. I hope not. Law of averages says it cannot possibly happen, David. I hope not. If you get some money up there that you've collected before you might see the devil or you think you might, you may quit if you want and take the money. 
If you like what's up there as a final offering, you can stay with it and try to go all the way to 1000 If you get the 1000 you win that money in this prize. Well, Dave, we offer you four different light sources to brighten your life. First, Dave, reading will be a pleasure by the light of this stately Torshier lamp. From Bauer, the table Torshier concept for nightstand, sofa back, or console. Brass columns intermixed with clear acrylic, etched opal glass shade from Bauer Lamp Company. Then, enliven family gatherings when you switch on the projector that comes with a complete home movie outfit. Select with a service merchandise gift certificate, famous brand name items, select from our over 500 page catalog, or redeem in one of our showrooms furnished by service merchandise. Next, for romance, turn off all the lights and illuminate the room with firelight from this classic hearth stove. Low Pies Answer Wood Burning Stove, efficiency designed to fit your decor and budget with solid brass doors and etched glass details. The answer from Low Pie. And finally, Dave, on vacation, your light source will be the sun, and you'll get plenty of sun in the tropical beach resort of Mazatlan. Where the Sierra Madres meet the Gulf of California lies magical Mazatlan, a popular beach resort. While there, you'll stay at the Holiday Inn Mazatlan, located on the beach, with elegant rooms featuring in-room movies. Enjoy dining and dancing, water sports, or relaxing under the sun from Holiday Inn Mazatlan. This Four Light Sources package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,650. Well, you see, the, the psychological thing about this, David, is you, as you go along, and I assume you will get a few rolls in there before you see them, and collect money, then you have to begin to equate. You have to say, well, do I want to take the money, or is that trip to Mazatlan worth the big risk? You understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know you can quit whenever you want. Yes. Are you here alone? Uh, I have a, my best friend from New York is in the audience. Your best friend from New York? Mm -hmm. uh, is, it a, is it a man or a lady? It's a, it's a guy. It's a guy. Well, listen, uh, what the heck. <laughs> Hi, good to see you. What's his name? Seth. Okay, Seth, you can root him on. Anytime you want, you can quit and take the money. Root for David, folks. Here he goes. Okay. Big money. That's better than the other thing. A hundred bucks, 250 total, 300, 325. Go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for it. Big money. 350. Four and a quarter. Five. Is that 575? Let's see what comes up. Yeah. 575. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. Seth says go. Big money. He's going. 100. 100. Automatic win. Good one. Right there. That's the best you'll ever make in your life. Boy. You will never spin a better one in your life, David. As you know, that works same as the natural triple. When you're up here against the devil, get three numbers that are same, whether they're 100 or 250 or 25. That's an automatic win. So you got the thousand bucks. All right. You got not only I got a I got the cash. Woo! Huh? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Thought for a moment you said woo there, but anyway, a thousand dollars. Seth and everybody count along with me. Here's 100, One, 200, two, 300, three, four. four. One thousand bucks plus, plus the lamp, more furniture, the gift certificate, the wood stove, more furniture, and the trip to Mazatlan. Total four thousand six hundred fifty bucks. And we'll be back right now. We have this for you. Well, David, this has sort of been your lucky period here with us because you want to be a stand-up comic whether you make... I'm sure you will because you seem to have a lot of talent. You're a good-looking boy. Thank you. Uh, I hope you make that, but so far you had no furniture, and now you got all sorts of things. you got the dining room, you got the tables, you got the lamps, and you got a trip, and you got total winnings of 4650 mm. You're doing all right. People will become... As you leave the studio, people will come up and beg for your autograph. I hope so. W will you give it to them? Sure. All right. Right now, i got to tell you what we have for you. We have a new opponent, have we not, Charles? You bet we do, Bill. He's an elementary school teacher whose interests include water skiing and label collecting, Randy Hume. Hello, Randy. Hi, Bill. I, uh, uh, label collecting is not a common hobby. I, I had an uncommon hobby once, too. I won't talk about that now, but tell us about your label collection. Well, we, we meaning my wife and I, collect uh, orange crate art from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. And, in fact, some can be quite valuable. 
Oh yeah, they used to put uh, they used to put on the ends of the orange crates. They used to put very colorful pictures. That's draw. right. Yes. And, and how much can a good label? If you get a good one that's hard to get, how much can it be well, worth? Well, if it's rare, if it's in good condition, if it's old enough, it can be worth uh, upwards of five hundred dollars. No kidding. And where do you find these labels? I mean, go on to. You don't find them around too much anymore. You used to be able to find them at swap meets and flea markets and things like that. And now that, I guess you trade other label... With, exactly, with other the, collectors. That sounds like a very interesting collection, a very interesting hobby. How many labels do you have? Uh, a couple of hundred, I'd say. That's pretty good. It's pretty a good. modest collection, but growing. Hang on to them. You're going to have some rare ones in there. Some, I'll tell you what I collect. Categories. I collect categories by the gross. For instance, here's my latest collection. Quotations, comic strips... American States, What's My Name, and finally, Fast Forward Movies. Fast Forward's a good uh, catch-up question. Actually, some of these can be worth a lot more than 250 bucks, depending on how you play them. So, you ready to go, Randy? I reckon I am. All right. <laughs> Randy reckons, so he's going to spin. Calling all jokers. Let's see what you get. Hey, there's one. Quotations and a comic strip, but you got a joker there. Let's try comic strips for $100. All right. Cartoonist Paul Terry created this comic strip, Randy, in 1945. It was a parody of a salesman and featured Excuse me, a Bill. mouse. I beg pardon? It's a parody of Superman. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Judge. I'll, I'll start all over for you again, Randy. Cartoonist Paul Terry created this comic strip in 1945. It was a parody of Superman, which I misread, and featured a mouse with extraordinary powers. What was the name, Randy, for a hundred bucks of that potent rodent? Sounds like Mighty Mouse. It is Mighty Mouse. It's a, I'm glad the judge corrected me. You might never have gotten that answer the way I read it. Dave, let's see if you can catch up. Let's see some jokers. Another joker call. You got comic strips. Comic strips. Quotations. I'll take comic strips for 200. Uh, it, no. 100. 100, that's right. The comic strip character named Archie had a wide variety of high school buddies, including a goofy character who wore a crown-shaped hat and loved to eat hamburgers. For $100, name Archie's peculiar pal. Jughead. Jughead is the right answer. To Jughead Jones. Randy Stick. Here we go. Jokers, please. <coughs> Quotation, what's my name, and a joker to do with as you will. Let's try What's My Name for $100. Okay. I, I, many people say, uh, and I'm doing a quote, I'm doing this in the first person. Many people say I'm bananas, but it's just not true. For proof, just go to Manhattan and ask my friends Zellig, Broadway Danny Rose, and Annie Hall. What's my last name? It sounds like Alan. It is Woody Allen, and you have another $100. David, spin if you would. Let's see. See some jokers. Here's Dave spin. Fast forward, fast forward in American Ooh. states. Oh, boy, what do you want to do? I'll take fast forward movies for 100. In fast forward movies, you answer as many questions as you wish. Each one, David, pays the amount of the spin. If you miss an answer, you lose all the money you've won up to that point. So here you go, first question for $100. The films The Odd Couple, The Fortune Cookie, and The Front Page team two of Hollywood's most endearing stars. One was Jack Lemmon. What was the last name of his partner in film? Matthau. Walter Matthau. You have one. Do you want to go on? Yes, I do. He's going on. For two, you'll lose it all if you miss. In the 73, 1973 Western High Plains Drifter, Drifter, this actor portrayed a mysterious man known as the Stranger. In the 1985 Western Pale Rider, he played a nameless stranger known only as the Preacher. What's this actor's last name? Eastwood. Correct. You have $200. You want to go on? Yes, I do. What's going on? This popular, eight, this popular 1983 uh, film starred a fashion trend of women wearing ripped sweatshirts. The movie starred newcomer Jennifer Beals as a blue-collar worker who dreamed of becoming a dancer. Name the film. Flashdance. That's right. You want to go on? Yes, I do. You do want to go on? Yes. One Italian actress became a popular sex symbol of the 60s after starring in such films as Two Women and Arabesque. For enough money to win the game and enough to lose it if you miss it, what's this actress's last name? Uh, Lola Brigida? No, it is not. Randy, you can pick up 100 points if you can tell me this actress's last name. Lorraine? Lorraine is right. Sophia Lorraine. It's... 
$200 to nothing, uh, to 100 to 3 to no, uh, 100 and we'll be back right after this for you. Thank you and goodbye from the Joker's Wild. See you next time. The Joker's Wild is a Jack Barry and Dan Enright production.